earlier today, someone had asked me if I have blood, butterflies in my stomach, and I said no. Turns out that was a lie. <laughs> well, first of all, I just wanted to say how overwhelmed I am at all of you who just came here, who pretty much, literally, risked your lives with all the weather we have outside trying to get here. So I thank you all for coming. So. These past 11 years have been quite an adventure. It's hard to imagine that I was once just a Wolf Scout making Pirate Derby cars. Scouting has changed me over the years. It helped me to be a better person and a better citizen. It will be an experience that I will never forget as I move on in my life. I would like to thank those of you who showed up today to celebrate the success with me, family, friends, teachers, fellow scouts, and others who have supported me. Thanks to all the scoutmasters who have helped me and put up with me over the years. First of all, Mr. Bauman for providing me with my very first scouting experience back at T.G. Smith's Pac-29. He unfortunately could not make it today, got held up with work, but he is pretty much the man who got me first started, him and his son. And I also remember the, the very first Pinewood Derby I won, came third overall. I was so happy that day. <laughs> my first scoutmaster, Mr. Tim Yajak, and of course, as Mr. Strong said, my very first camp out was not a pleasant one. And the tent I also had, the zip was gone, and so we tried duct taping the back door. Unfortunately, the duct tape lost its stickiness that night. And yep, five feet of water at least that night. It was a very pleasant experience. But hey, it's life. And my next set of scoutmasters, Mr. Watts and Mr. Wolsey, they were great, helped me while I was a senior patrol leader. They have also, on more than one occasion, sent me straight. And the memory I have of that was, I think it was my very first camp or summer camp out, and I was taking the orienteering merit badge, and I thought something had to be done, and I kind of threw a fit, to the script, say the least. But they stayed up with me and helped me sort that out, and it turns out next day, I didn't need to do it that night, so. Yeah. Don't really know what else to say to that one. <laughs> yes, and then finally, our prisoner scoutmaster, Mr. Swally who helped me by giving me guidance in order to help get my ego. And if it weren't for this man right over here, I don't think I would be standing right here today. So if you will come on up and receive your mentor's pin, Mr. Swallow. <laughs> About two years ago, maybe a little less, um, Scott Hughes came to me and said, can you talk to Hunter about Eagle? He is so close. But he's just having some problems. And so, believe it or not, uh, that night I grabbed Hunter, and a typical scout at night it can be very chaotic. And uh, the only place we could find to talk one on one was actually in a storage closet in this building where we used to be. And Hunter and I sat on a chuck box, and I had a legal pad said, you know, what's going on, honey? What do you, what do you have? He said, well, I've got a project that I've, I've, I've worked out and I'm working on. I've got three merit badges that I've, two of them are partially done. So I wrote those down on this pad and showed it to him. I said, does that look that hard to do? And his eyes just opened up and he said, is that all? <laughs> and I said, yes, honey, that's all. I said, you've got part of your project done, you've got part of two merit badges done, you've got one merit badge to complete, and you've got a little less than two years to do it. So let's just pick out what you're going to do first, what you're going to do second, and so on. So once we had an action plan together, I kept that legal pad, which I still have to this day, and 
about every month or so, I would check with him, where are you at, where are you at? I'd send him emails, where are you at, where are you at? Well, he finished his Eagle Project, so he didn't get a merit badge. Where are you at on this, where are you at on that? You know, um, where do you need to go to find the merit badge counselor to get this taken care of, you know? And little by little, we chipped away at it, and we got her done. So, congratulations, Tony. I appreciate you. I would also like to thank friends and family who helped fund my ego project or support me through it. Above all things, the project taught me how to be a leader, how to plan and run the project, make sure everything was done and done on time, and deal with unexpected problems. We have few of those here trying to set up for this. <laughs> Even when some of the volunteers didn't follow through with their role, I realized it had to be done and ended up doing them myself. And to the city of Elm Springs, Boston Mountain Solid Waste, Former Elm Springs Mayor Jane Waters, Officer Jason Hyatt, and Boston Mountain Salt Waste Director Malin Rice, and Mr. Tom Wilson. He couldn't be here today, but he usually does recycling. I also thank you all for partnering with me on my project. It was a great success, and I hope the momentum will carry forward within the community. Thank you to all the scouts and adult leaders who have helped me get to where I am today. You have all been there for me over the years, and I greatly appreciate it. Now, it wasn't all work. I had lots of fun scouting as well. A lot of fun was due to campouts and summer camps. I'm proud to say that through all my popcorn sales, which I appreciate many of you supporting, I was able to fund 100% of my scouting activities. So, and thank you to everyone who's told me never to give up on my e sorry. And thank you to everyone who's told me to never give up and get my Eagle Scout. One of my popcorn customers, Mr. Eagle Scout, Mr. McClendon, who's here today. My Eagle Scout cousin, Dan, who's in Virginia. And my Eagle Scout great-grandfather. Now, I would like to share a brief video of my great-grandfather sharing his scouting experience. Have you ever been in there, brother? Heard of, huh? We didn't go to class or anything. You want to get in and make a plumber. Do you do it this work? Oh, we went to a car and you do it this work. And they had to turn it in and you did the work? We earned our money to go to, go to camp. We were over hauling uh, roads and corn. We were on the weeds out. So you had to make your own money to get to camp. <laughs> What camp did you go to? What were you going to? Oh, you going to? Man. Roll Oh, yeah. I'm just having a story back. Okay. Roll Barlow was down here. Roll Barlow was down here. Bugler? Did you bugle? <laughs> I didn't know you bugled. I didn't know you did that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's awesome. A boy, I'm telling you, you are a miracle. I bet you did, because you've got, what is there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you have 25. Yeah. There's 25. You owe me something. Oh, good. That was a selfish one. What was that, my saving? Oh, we had an instructor, and when he grabs it, she had it right around the neck. And she couldn't break that arm. I'm a fool, buddy. Can you get the you? I hope we get his name was Aitken. Oh, I old boy. Aitken, was it? What was that? Some heel? Oh, that's the bicycling? The cycling? I had to put the post office downtown, right down there. Punch a card. Oh, wait, though. Punch a card and back. And we didn't have those fast bikes in And what kind of, what kind of, I mean, are we talking 50 miles? Or what? 50 miles, I think I'm walking somewhere. 
Oh my gosh. And so was there a bunch of you riding together? Was there several of you riding together? Two of them. There was like two more at a time. Oh my goodness. So that's the cycling bear. That's the cycling bear. Oh, and then we get to there. your eagle. Yeah, that's the official eagle badge that's on your sash. That's incredible. That's incredible. I don't know what that, that S would stand for. Do you, do you, um, do you, do you know how old you were when you were in Eagle? Oh, 16 or 17. Okay. Okay. Yeah, man, that's that. He wanted to be here today to see this, but fortunately, due to weather, he couldn't come down. But he's pretty glad that I made it. The sax is also on display in the back as well. And lastly, I would like to thank my parents for helping me get to where I am today as well. One thing for them, they pushed me a lot to make sure I'm on task and ready for this ring. And I don't know what I do without them either, so I thank you both a lot. It was chaotic at times, but it was good and all the time. I am proud of the Eagle Ring and will carry this achievement with me for the rest of my life. I hope now to help some of the younger scouts out there achieve what I've been to achieve. It may be a long road, but in the end, the way is worth it.